Okay, folks, welcome to Yadi Belly's Kitchen. Today, I'll be just uh, doing some potatoes as a side dish to uh, accompany, you know, any meal. I was in the supermarket recently and I saw uh, these potatoes and I said, wow, very, very nice. These are called uh, fingerlings or baby potatoes. And I have a bag here with the purple potatoes and it's purple splendor. And I also have a bag with a medley. Now the medley has uh, honey potatoes, rose potato, and a cup of purple potatoes as well. All right. So I just saw them and I said to myself, oh, that would go nice with some chicken or some fish or something. You know, so that's pretty much what I uh, did. I bought myself some fingerling potatoes. Now, I'm going to be just uh, trying to do, just put them in an oven and, you know, get them done. All right. And I'm doing the variety. So in the, in the, in the bowl, I have the, the honey potatoes, which I've peeled totally. I have the rose, which I'm peeling halfway, you know, just to make it look like a bit, you know, variety, stylish, ish, ish, ish. And then I have the most unusual one, which is the, the purple potato. Yeah, and when I saw it, I said, yeah, man, I have to try that, man. A friend of mine, um, Empress uh, from Hope Gardens Kitchen, she she did a, a very nice dish with it. And I said to myself, yeah, I'm going to try a stunt and, you know, go buy myself some purple potato top. All right, so uh, pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them up. And as you can see, me cutting them up here. You know, and it's so it's it's really unusual. I mean, most Jamaicans maybe not used to purple potatoes. You know, mm -hmm. it looks rich in something. In in purple, <laughs> <laughs> it rich in gentian violet. <laughs> you know, but I'm not gonna be doing. And it has a face. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Mm. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot with this. I'm just going to uh, probably uh, pair it together with some garlic and some olive oil and, and roast it in the oven, you know, and and that, that, that will be our, our dinner, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. Join me in the kitchen. So here on my potatoes, I cut them up and peel them and everything. I already went ahead and added some fresh garlic to the potatoes and now I'm adding a good quality extra virgin olive oil and I'm also going to add my badia garlic and parsley and I really like that because it, it, it sticks to it a little bit more than just the regular you know uh ingredients and the, obviously there is no salt in this folks i'm using my one hand as usual to to operate this and the next thing that i'm gonna add is just a little adobe adobo if i can if i can get the the um the bottle open with the one hand now that will add my salt all right and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna toss this And when I toss this, just make sure that everything, you know, is well marinated and incorporated and everything, you know. And then I'm going to put this in my oven. All right. Uh, in order for it to become well, you know, infused with the flavorings, I'm going to cover my baking tr um, dish for a little bit. And then when I finish... Uh, when it has, you know, baked for a little bit, I'm going to uncover it and let it broil and crisp up and nice up and everything up and stuff. All right. So, and then finally, I'm going to finish everything with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese that I had rescued from, um, some cheese place, May have, from, from some pizza place. May have some pepper too, some red pepper <laughs> might tonight. All right. Soon come. All right, now my potatoes have been in the oven for a little bit and whoa, steam, steam, steam. And I, as you see, I had them covered because I didn't want them to dry out or anything. I wanted them to, 
to stay nice and uh, you know firm all right so now i'm gonna basically well i'm gonna put them back in the oven and this time i'm gonna leave the the broiler up well as you can see they're done almost to the point where they, they start to stick but i'm gonna put just a little bit of parmesan cheese over this and and then i'm gonna put it back in the oven just for a minute uncovered and what will happen next is your guess as good as mine we'll have uh fingerling potatoes for the dinner plate, ladies and gentlemen my roasted parmesan roasted fingerling potatoes and as you can see i paired it with my seared sahi fillet and trust me folks i cannot tell you how versatile the, the this meal is the sahi fits in perfectly and as you can see i'm trying to dress my plates up a little bit i drizzled just a little bit of parmesan ranch dressing over my potatoes and i added some grape tomatoes and some mixed vegetables and a few capers and this is it you got to try this anytime you see you know stuff like potatoes and stuff like that it might not be what you're used to but hey it sure makes for an exciting meal once again this is yadi belly in a foreign and i do hope that you will try this one in your neck of the woods